guys, so I'm just doing a quick update video of my last one uh, because I noticed obviously you guys, someone said in the comments that my voice was low and yeah, sorry about that, um, I recorded it um, low by accident um, and didn't actually notice until that comment was put up. So I'm just doing a quick video um, and also just adding some of the updates about this error here, um, this uh, uncorrectable error. Now there's various things that can cause this from um, overclocking so you might want to revert your overclocks um, it's all because of the Windows 10 upgrade which is bound to have some bug errors and stuff um, some bugs and bits um, so and there's also another fix that one that worked for me or it partly it was part of the fix for me for me the fix was updating the graphics drivers and also flashing your BIOS so just quickly I'll show you again how to do if you don't already know um, uh, you go into device manager and we need to go to display adapters and mine's fine now but you'd go to update here although I have recently just installed Windows 10 again because I've, this is a solid state drive so I'll do this now I haven't had any errors with it yet my errors would occur when I was trying to render something, for example, in um, Premiere. Um, it'd start rendering, and then about 20 seconds in, it'd go and just uh, go to that blue screen of death here. Um, so it's downloading my driver update. Right, excellent, that's cool. And the other thing which you need, to, which you could do, which also helped me, because there's, there's also another error called the. Uh, timeout error or something like that I've put it in the description um, where's my older video um, it's called the um, clock watchdog timeout so um, the, the I don't know which one fixes which but flashing your bias you need to get a little mini flash drive um, it doesn't need to be big you can down just check your bias um, details mine's like an Asus so you just go to their site you download it install it on to the drive put it in and you boot into your BIOS and there should be a setting in there um, to flash your BIOS uh, which will then update it with the new software which will be compatible with Windows 10 so that's how I did it and I hope this the volume quality is a bit better now um, um, there's not much else I can talk about at the minute. I'm, I'll add in the comments if I find any other ways of fixing it or if any more errors come up. Because this is a brand, new, like I said, this is a brand new install now on a uh, SSD that I got the other day. So I may come across some more errors. So I hope that helps you out. It's just a bit of updating with Windows that works for me. Update anything you can, um, especially your graphics, because it was uh, whenever it was. Uh, graphic heavy, sort of like the the playing a game or using it to render because it uses a graphic card, especially in After Effects where you have um, extra um, graphics which uses the actual graphics card itself to render motions and stuff. So it's it it's to do a lot with yeah your graphics compatibility with Windows 10 and possibly the BIOS itself with Windows 10. So give them a go, post your comments. Um, and your fixes because it will help other people out uh, and yeah uh, like subscribe uh, if you like because uh, I add a lot of different fixes and stuff um, yeah, I'm pretty new to YouTube but uh, I'm trying to help out where I can and yeah I'll uh, see you next time cheers guys